Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to be installing LED lights behind my bedroom TV. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and we're going to begin today's video by taking a look at our LED lights. Today I am using the GoV SMD 5050 LED lights. Govi has a wide selection of LED lights and the one that I chose are 16.4 feet long and they are waterproof. When you open the box, you can see our LED lights and they come in a roll. Here's a look at what the lights look like. The base color is white and they are set to last up to 50,000 hours. If we take a look at the back of our LED lights, we're going to see a 3M adhesive in the back. So just peel back the lining and stick them on. On one end of the LED lights, we're going to come across the controller switch, which is also a sensor. Here's one of our controllers. We have three buttons. Starting from the top is our power button. The middle button will be able to change our color. And the bottom button, you'll be able to select with different scenes. There is also a 3M adhesive in the back of the controller switch. Entering our controller, we have two wires. One wire is a sensor as these lights are controlled by a remote control. The other wire has a female connection and gets connected to your power supply. Here's our power supply and we have an input voltage of 120 to 240 volts and it steps it down to 12 volts. These two wires just simply plug right into each other. The set of lights comes with a remote controller, which has 44 keys, has many color options, as well as functions, and you could also adjust the brightness. The set also comes with six mounting clips that can help you secure your LED lights. Provided is a user manual and a set of instructions. We also have a alcohol prep pad to clean the surface of any dirt or dust. The size of my TV is 40 inches, and we're going to mount the LED lights on the back side going all the way around in the shape of a rectangle. Here is the back of my TV and the LED lights are going to be mounted just like this. Going all the way around. Next, I'm going to run the LED lights around my TV to see the size that I need and cut them down. If you look closely at the LED lights, about every four inches, you're going to see this symbol. And this is actually a symbol of a pair of scissors. So you can take a pair of any household scissors and cut it down the middle. The LED lights are now cut and ready to mount. But before I mount them on my TV, I'm going to take the alcohol prep pad and clean the TV for any dust or dirt. Just peel back the lining in the back of the lights and stick them on. If we look closely around the TV, we can see that the white LEDs go all the way around. As far as the corners, I just bend the LED lights and use the clips provided with the kit. The entire process was super easy and fast and all that's left is to put the TV back in position and turn on the lights. Alright everyone, it's the moment of truth. Wow! The entire room is lit up. Can't really tell through the video but the entire room is lit up. Alright, so let's go through a few colors. Whoa. It's really trippy. Love how it goes around the entire TV. 
it honestly looks different in person way better way better the colors are much more vivid this is a great set of LED lights I actually have LED lights behind my desk and I'm going to turn those on in just a few just going through the colors to show everyone This will really transform the room. So let's put on a blue color. And I want to turn on the LED lights behind my desk. Nice. There we go. And the idea I had here was to have two sets of LEDs so I can use two different colors. Cool. I really like that. Nice. This is a great idea. You can adjust the brightness on this set of LEDs. This set of LED lights really completed this side of this room. The contrast between the two lights are fantastic. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.